A Stober hollow output reducer can be mounted to the equipment shaft from either side. The tolerance for the hollow bore is shown on Table 1 of the installation sheet, and the shaft should be tolerance to fit the bore accordingly. Stober gearboxes use a keeper plate inside the bore to prevent axial movement. The keeper plate is held in place with snap rings and can be easily removed for location on either end. Each keeper plate has a spring pin installed to prevent it from rotating inside the bore. The keeper plate is also drilled and tapped in the center to accept the removal bolt. Since the keeper plate is drilled and tapped, Stober recommends you drill and tap the equipment shaft a minimum one size smaller than the tap in the keeper plate. If the keeper plate is drilled for a half inch removal bolt, we recommend a 3 8 inch bolt for securing to the equipment shaft. A 1 32nd by 45 degree chamfer at the end of the shaft is recommended for ease of installation. It is important to note the machine shaft length should not be longer than the LE dimension shown in the instruction sheet. A shaft length of LE minus 0.125 will allow the shaft shoulder to pull against the face of the bore of the reducer. Before installing, brush the inside of the bore with rust inhibiting grease. Do not mount the reducer dry as removal may be impossible. The keeper plate is installed on the outboard side of the unit away from the equipment shaft. Insert the first snap ring in the innermost slot then insert the keeper plate, making sure to align the spring pin with the keyway. Insert the remaining snap ring to contain the keeper plate. When mounting the unit onto the shaft, avoid hammering as this may damage the bearings. Slide the reducer onto the equipment shaft. Insert the mounting bolt through the keeper plate and into the threaded shaft end. Stober recommends torque arm mounting the reducer. Watch our torque arm mounting video for detailed instructions. To dismantle the unit from the shaft, remove the mounting bolt. Thread the removal bolt into the keeper plate to press against the shaft and loosen the shaft from the unit. Removal of the reducer will be easier if the quill is greased before installation.